Just got a tip, there's no debate. I know a gent that'll set you straight. It's Vinny Vela time. Good fellow who's got what it takes. A New Yorker too, make no mistake. It's Vinny Vela time. Tell you who's better than you Elizabeth Street, Little Italy Hangs with his pals, yeah, that's where he'll be It's Vinny, a friend of mine Stand-up guy from the Lower East Side Take it from me, he's one of a kind It's Vinny, Velotar right. Who's better than you? Welcome yeah. to Tell It Like It Is the Vinny Vela Show. And um, I'm just so happy to be here tonight because I have a very good close friend of mine here with me tonight. I've been trying to get him on the show for the longest time. But he's been so busy. I'm going to tell you all about him in a couple of moments. And uh, I got candy in my mouth. I shouldn't be talking with candy in my mouth. I got plenty more. So I'm going to get rid of this from the cherry candy. <laughs> Been a long time since I had a cherry candy. Okay. And, um, yeah, so Sean has been, his name is Sean. Bye. And uh, Sean has been, a, uh, I've known Sean for ages. And uh, he's one of my closest friends. I think he is my closest friend. I haven't had any lately because I've been under the weather. And um, so I, I go out very seldom because of my condition, but I'm gonna be going out pretty soon, a lot more often because I'm starting to get treatment as of next week. Then I can throw away my cane, the walker, all this other stuff. And uh, you know what I, you know what, you know what my people say to me sometimes, what's your favorite shows on TV? I don't like half of these reality shows that they got on there now. But um, I watch the news quite a bit, 60 Minutes, things like that. Uh, world news, I'd like to know what's going on around me. And you know what I can't deal with? You know, these kids are still going around sucker punching people, throwing them in front of trains, people near the platform, they push them when the train is coming in. I mean, at least Kids are nuts. You know, these laws got to change. They really have to change. <clears throat> I know it sounds a very a little barbarian, but when these people stand there and they catch them throwing people in front of a train, I fight fire with fire. You know what a sentence should be? Put him in front of a train and push him in front of a and push him in front of the train when the train comes. You know, in Europe. What they do is, when somebody does something wrong, they don't go to jail right away. They put them in hospitals. And if they're, if they're uh, seen that they're sane, then they, they face the crime. And if, they, and if they're insane, they go to a hospital. Now when they come out six months later, oh, I'm okay now, and then they let them loose. Let them stay in jail. People going around sucker punching people, Slicing people with, with blades, graffiti. There was a new one just recently, just the other day I was watching about the Chinese. The graffiti, then it, then it started with the Chinese. They start with every race, now they start with the Chinese. And they, they cut out what it said. It said the Chinese, but I caught it before they were able to cut it out. Mm -hmm. It said the Chinese stink like fish, but they, they cut it out. So it's it's stink like fish. Come on. You know, people got nothing else better to do. Uh, you want to know something? I don't even want to talk about it. I'm, I don't feel good as it is. And these things are only going to upset me more. I want to introduce my friend, Sean. Now, Sean, I love you, man. I love God you right bless. back, man. Uh, you know that. Sean is one of the best people and one of the nicest people, most honest people you'd ever want to meet. And um, 
He has the finest restaurants in New York. Not only in New York. You don't mind if I name off some of these places? Please, Vinny, please. He's got them in, he's got one right on my block. And it's called Cafe Habana. And it's on the corner, the very corner of Prince Street and Manhattan and Elizabeth. Cafe Habana. The place is wonderful. It's uh, Cuban food. Yeah. The food is excellent. The prices are real. And, you know, great place. That's not the only place. This guy has them all over. I'm going to have to take off my glasses. They'll fog up. <laughs> Naming all these places that he has. He's got Cafe Habana. He has Habana Outpost in Brooklyn. He's got the Barclay Center. He's got one in Malibu, California. Tokyo. Tokyo, of all people. Tokyo. He's got a lot of Chinese customers. Mostly Hawaii. Japanese. Japanese, yeah. I mean. Yeah. That's what it's all the same. All right. And um, Dubai, in Dubai, <laughs> yeah, but also New Orleans. That's about seven or eight places. Yeah. Wow, that's unbelievable. I have to come to one of them. You know, I mean, I've been in Cafe about all the time. No time. I yep. go to that one all the time. And I've been at Outpost. But I gotta try some of these other ones out. I want to get away from home. I, I would like you to come. Yo, come down to New Orleans. We're going to open up there sometime soon for the grand opening. You, you promise me you'll come? I promise you. How soon? Right. It's been, I've been trying to open. Oh, it's hot. It's, it's hot. hot? Yeah. Even in New Orleans? Oh, it's hot in New All Orleans. All year round? Mostly year round, yeah. Yeah? yeah. I'll, I'll definitely be there. Yeah. All right, good. All right. I, I would love you. We'll oh, get man. everybody there. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody. Yeah, I know. Well, Vinny can come from Florida, yeah. right? Bring the kids, all of it. Come around, yeah. yeah. Everybody come. Oh, I would love like Margaret that. Ann. Yes, everybody. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Margaret Ann's my housekeeper. I mean, my <laughs> wife. My wife. I mean. Yeah. I'm sorry, honey. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. She would like that. Millie doesn't fly. No. That's my mother-in-law. Maybe we'll have to rent an RV. We'll all drive down together. Oh yeah. That'd be nice, wouldn't yeah. it? Yeah. So you remember when I had the no, RV? I remember right? when you had the RV. Of course yeah, I do. They were big. They, yeah. they were. I'd love that. You want to know some? I, I miss driving those things. Yeah. I, I miss paying people for rides in them. And, <laughs> you remember uh, the monkey? Oh, yeah. The, you, uh, that monkey story? Yeah. I remember the monkey. Should I tell them? Yeah, tell them the monkey story. You know, I used to own these RVs, and we used to... Um, I used to cater to the fashion industry. Yeah. Then I went into movies, commercials. And um, so I had a partner, and he told me, <clears throat> Excuse me. Every time we had a new client, I would always take it because I handled the new clients. He used to handle all the me mechanical work. And he says, we got a new client tomorrow. I said, I'll do it. He said, it's a monkey that they're going to use for Banana Republic. A monkey. He said, they're going to make it look very safari looking. Yeah. And he, so I'm thinking a little monkey that you put on his shoulder, something on top of an accordion. Yeah. I said, I'll take it. So I had to go to the location to pick up the monkey and the owner, or the, the, the yeah, the monkey and the owner. So when I did, I was double parked alongside the vehicle that the guy was going to come out and bring the monkey on my vehicle. And um, he, uh, so I did, and they were transferring the monkey. Well, no, first I went to the back of the vehicle. I wanted to make sure I didn't get a ticket because I was double parked, and I felt something pulling my, my jacket. <laughs> and when I turned around, it was a freaking chimpanzee. And it looked at me and started all that monkey shit, like, whoo, <laughs> you know, the thing with the tongue yeah, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. and that noise. I said, ah, oh, man, what I got? I got to put up with this thing today. So um, we got on the vehicle, first thing, when we got to the location, first of all, before we got to the location, we're driving down Fifth Avenue, I had to make a right turn on 16th Street, it smacked me right in the head while I was driving. I and I couldn't turn around <laughs> right away because I'm driving a 40 footer. You know, I don't want to get in an accident. And by the time I turned around, Monkey was sitting there like this on his lap. And the guy was sitting right next to him driving a newspaper. Now, the couch behind me was facing the side of the vehicle. And I was facing this way driving. And I figured out he had to smack me with his left hand. 
because the guy was sitting to his right. So he had to slap me this way, because the guy would have seen it. And he smacked me right in the back of the head. My head almost hit the, the window. Yeah. You know? So I didn't say nothing right away. So, and then he smacked me the second time. Pow, gave me a freaking hit in the back of the head. And they hurt, you know, because they hit like rubber. Yeah. So I pulled over to the side, the guy said, are we here? I said, no, we're not here. I said, you're reading the freaking newspaper. Your monkey keeps slapping me. Don't you see him? I didn't see him. He goes, Hobo, did you slap him? I said, hold on a second. You're going to ask the freaking monkey if he slapped me? We try to make a jerk out of me? He slapped me twice. Why don't you go sit in the back with this thing? So he looks at the monkey. He goes, hold on a second. And the monkey's name was Hobo. Hmm. He said, Hobo, did you slap him? I said, you're going to ask the freaking monkey if he slapped me? They're very intelligent. I don't care how intelligent he is. <laughs> he smacked me twice. And I got a gun at home. I don't want to shoot this thing. You know? So he looks at me, he looks at him, he goes like this. And then behind the guy's back, and did this to me. Went. I said, why well, you a little <laughs> shithead? You know? And all I, every, when they went out on location to do this uh, shoot for Banana Republic, they made it look very safari looking. Mm -hmm. And so they all were outside. The monkey was there with the owner. And um, everybody was outside fixing up the set. <clears throat> and um, <clears throat> he took the pen out of my pocket and threw it across the motorhome. So I didn't want to go like, no. I didn't want to like spook that thing out, you know? Mm -hmm. So I just looked at him and I said, no, you don't do that, you little mother. You know? <laughs> yeah. That's a no-no, yeah. you know, that the caterers, they bring in stuff to eat, like uh, oranges, fruit, all that stuff, stuff to drink. And it took an orange and he threw it. it. It made that noise with his mouth, like, tss, tss, you know, that noise that they made. And it threw an orange at me and I caught it. He wanted to play catch with me. Yeah. I didn't want to play with this thing. <laughs> I don't blame I him. didn't like him to begin with. I don't blame him. You know, and uh, Throwing breadsticks at me and grapes, and then the owner came in. I said, "Oh, excuse me, come over here for a second. I said, "Your monkey took my pen, threw it across the motorhome. Now he's breadsticks. Look, he's making a mess over here. Can't can't you do something about it? Can't you put him in the back? He likes you. He likes me. Why don't he like somebody else for a half hour? Yeah. You know, or am I the only one here? So um, at the end, when they were doing the shoot, you know, they had it give it a handful of grapes because they harnessed them into a, a jeep. So they, had a, they gave him a handful of grapes and he was looking into the crowd. That was to keep him still. And he was going like this. And all of a sudden he went, hoo, 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 hoo. He was looking for me, that little shithead. <laughs> I bet he was. You know? When he spotted me, I was over there looking like this. Hoo, 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 hoo. hit me right in the head. I told the guy, he says, you know, I don't like this guy very much. I don't like what he's doing. He messed up my vehicle. Now he's throwing grapes at me, you know. So when they were leaving, the monkey was, they were the last two out of the vehicle. And the guy went down the two steps first and had the monkey by the hand. And it gave me a look like, ha ha. <laughs> yeah. You know, right, I yeah. had you all day, uh -huh. you know. So I stuck out my foot and I tripped it. <laughs> I didn't want him to go thinking he had the best of me. <clears throat> and I tripped him. Yeah. And he got pissed off, man. Oh. And the guy was like trying to pull him off and he wanted to come back. I said, come on, get him out of here, please. Yeah. And I got to go somewhere. That was the monkey story. Yeah. And ever since then, I didn't do anything else with Adam. Well, yeah, one time I did. They were shooting this model with a snake. Yeah. A big one, too. And I didn't know that they were going to use such a big snake, yeah. you know, or, or even a snake until she came on the vehicle. And she had it like in a basket or something. And then she came up to the front of the vehicle and she said, excuse me, what's your name? And I turned around and the snake's head was right here. Well, I don't use, I don't mean to curse or uh, use bad language mm. or get gross. But I'm, a, I'm scared shit of snakes. 
And when I seen that thing right near my face, I pissed, fat, shit my pants all at the same time. <laughs> you know? So after that, no more out of it. No more out of it. But anyway, seven, this, this is seven. Yeah. Seven. Wow. This, I'll definitely come to New Orleans. Please, wow. Lenny. Yeah, how often do you hit all these places? I'm about to go next week. I'm going to Tokyo. Tokyo. I see. Okay. And uh, is it Cuban food? They're all Cuban food. Cuban right? and Mexican. A little bit of gringo food, we call it. Do you know what I mean? Little oh, you call it gringo? gringo food. Yeah, yeah, a little gringo. bit. Of yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, I know we got what hamburgers, meat. you know, french yeah, fries. I know what gringo You know what it is, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So we got a little bit of everything, but mostly, yeah, all Latin food. I mean, yeah. mostly Latin food. Wow, yeah, that's pretty nice. Yeah. That's pretty nice. I can't. Now, from what I heard, and I think it was from you, you were telling me the one in New Orleans was a much bigger place. Yeah, well, it's been, it's been a while trying to get it open. Yeah, I went down there and um, got, got, got a location, secured it, and then there were a few neighbors that didn't want the restaurant to open up, yeah. and so it's been a big battle. It's been going, it's, I've been trying to open a restaurant there for about five years. Yeah. I'm just too stupid to quit. I'm, I'm going to see it through to the end, and, and I think we're getting close to the end. I, I really do. Yeah. I think we're going to make it happen. Yeah. Because I remember in the very beginning with uh, Cafe Abana. Yeah. We had a little problem, not a little problem, with the liquor license. The liquor license, yeah, they, I, we got denied yeah. the first time. Yeah, you remember? And then we went back the second time, and, right. and, and you were there. And I was there. <laughs> and we got it that time. That's another story. That is another story. But that, that, <laughs> yeah. but, no, you helped make that happen, Vinny. <coughs> yeah. You did. I am. Well, thank you. Thank All you. All right. Yep, yep. Yeah. And, and well, we at, least, see, at least we got it done, though. We did get it done. You we know? definitely got it done. But I gave them a hell of a story and a hell of a... I should have gotten an award that uh, an Academy Award no for No question that, about that it. Time. That was good. You were there for that one. I was definitely there, front oh, row yeah. and center. And, uh, and I was so happy. That was the difference. There were two things that really... Because, Vinny, I got to tell you, when I started out, and you know, I, I was in over my head. I didn't know what I was doing, mm -hmm. but I... Was, I, I didn't have a whole lot was of choices. Was it Rialto's at first? Yep, and then we came down the block to do that one. And so we, whatever we had done the, with, the, with Rialto, we, we piled it together and we were trying to open up the one on the corner. And when we got the roadblock and we didn't get our liquor license, when we had some problems, it was touch and go whether we were going to make it. And yeah. the two things that made the difference was with the liquor license, you helping to make that happen, because that makes a big difference, right? And then the other thing, they did that Lenny Kravitz video, because I've been doing oh, a yeah. of that. And when that happened, that was the thing that really kind of took us over the top, too. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Otherwise, yeah. it would have been a different story. And then, and then things happen, you know, from where you start, and then things. I, I got to tell you, I'm an Irish guy from New York, and I'm selling rice to the Japanese. Do you know what I mean? Like, when I was there at the opening, I was like, that's like ice to the Eskimos. How does that happen? I don't know. But it's been a crazy run, and you've been there with me Ever since. Yeah, ever since, man. Yeah. Yeah. But and I, I'm so happy that I was part of it. Yeah, you, you were. Know? Yeah. And, and that had happened for you. No doubt. You know? Yeah. And uh, talk about Irish. I've done two Irish movies. <laughs> <laughs> what are the name of the Irish movies? Well, one was called Kill the Irishman. Yeah, I know it was. <laughs> I mean, come on, man. Yeah. And the other one was called The Irishman. There you go. That, was, that movie's about Jimmy Hoffa. Yeah. Jimmy Hoffa, and that was with Al Pacino. Al Pacino, yeah. Joe Pesci and mm -hmm. Robert De Niro. Yeah. You know, and then Kill the Irishman was with a handful of actors. It was. That was the one that the, we saw at Sunshine on That's Hudson right. Street. Yeah. Remember? That was some movie. That was a lot of movie. action. Yeah. A lot you know, going on. And it was nothing about, about like Irish. It was just that the Irish in that movie were taking a lot of. A lot of crap from what were those people? Polish or something? Yeah, or, something like that. Yeah. They were a different nation, and they were taking advantage of the Irish. And the Irish decided they're gonna get together and straighten these people out and kick ass, and they did. Not there. So it wasn't. Um, but I think the guy that started this whole thing, one guy didn't like it too much. That was Christopher Walkins. Yeah. He's the one that. Yeah. They named the movie well, after I, because he pulls up alongside another car and hands somebody the money and said, hey, this is forever. Yeah. Killed the Irishman. Yep. You know, they were after him, not so much the Irish, Irish people. Yeah, yeah. You know? And that was a hell of a movie. That was a good movie. Yeah, and people say to me, what was your favorite movie? 
And when I got the check, I said, this one right here. <laughs> yeah, I bet. This was the favorite one right here. Oh, boy. I like oh, that Oh, you've been one. in a bunch of good movies, though, Vinny. Oh, yeah. 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 I don't want to talk about me. Oh, a little bit. I mean, it's like, no, you've you been know, in some real good ones, man. You really have. Yeah, and I just finished this other one now with Robert De Niro yeah. called The Irishman. Uh -huh. And uh, this is about Jimmy Hoffa. Yeah. You know, so it wasn't about Irish. Why did they name this one The Irishman? I got no idea. I don't know why they named this, but all my scenes are with De Niro. And you know what happened on, mm -hmm. you know, when you, I'm, I'm an owner of a meat market. And when somebody buys meat and they have to load a truck up, when the truck is loaded up, they have to put a seal on that lock. Mm -hmm. And when it gets to where it's going, the owner takes the seal off. So all my scenes are with De Niro. Yeah. I know it came out by accident, and I don't know if they're going to use this or not. I think they will. But when we were putting, when I was putting the seal on the lock, it was like zero degrees outside. My hands were frozen, frozen stiff. So for the first 10 times that we did it, my hands were okay. Mm -hmm. And then they started freezing up on yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. And I couldn't, and my scenes were right there with De Niro. And all of a sudden, I couldn't do it anymore. And I looked at De Niro, I says, I don't know what's happened. It's the first time I ever, I ever had a problem putting it in the hole. <laughs> but I meant, the seal, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he looked at, he looked at me like this. Something, something wrong with you, <laughs> you know. But I didn't mean, But everybody, Scorsese, the cameraman, everybody was watching in the background. Everybody it's, started laughing. Yeah, I bet. Then they had me do it again. No laughing, no nothing. There's a possibility they might use that. That'd be good. You know, if they don't. When's yeah. that one come out? 2019. Really? Around, yeah. Yeah. At the beginning of the beginning year, of next year. Uh -huh. Yeah. And uh, so people say to me, "How was it to work with all these big actors?" You gotta understand something. Most of these movies that I've done were all the big actors. Uh -huh. And people say to me, "How is it to work with them?" You know, that seems to bother me just a little bit. You know why? Because I say to myself. How is it for them to work with me? That's a good question. You know, I've done a lot of movies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I'm not no big <laughs> star with my, my star on the ground in Hollywood. I don't need that. Uh -huh. You know, people recognize me on the street. Um, the other thing, too, Vinny, is those people that work with you, they love working with you. Uh -huh. Even some of those big names. I'm, I've seen them at your, at your wedding, around on the block. Uh, those guys, they... Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, they think about you as a peer. Oh, as yeah. a friend, do you know what yeah. I mean? And that's like... That, I that's, worked with the biggest. I know, that's what I'm saying. You know? And, you know, and stolen scenes, too. I mean, you really did your thing on a lot of those movies, man. You yeah. Really, yeah, of course. And so, how is it to work with them? Like, when I see them, if I've never worked with them before, I say, you know, it's about time you showed up. <laughs> yeah. You know, for my movie. Yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah. And uh, some people are snobs. Like, when they get to a set, you see them in a the corner, and they're reading their scripts and trying to memorize their lines. Those are people that haven't done their work. They didn't do their homework. When I do a job and I get a script, or I, do, I get sides, you know, yeah, yeah. like I'm on like five or ten pages, I memorize those lines. I, you know, first you gotta read it a couple of times, get familiar with that character, then memorize the lines, but don't try to act them at the same time, because then you're doing two things at once. Mm -hmm. Memorize them, then act them out. Then go in front of the set. And when you go there, I like to know what I'm doing. I don't want to look like I got to go in the corner and start yeah. memorizing my yeah, lines. Yeah, yeah. Those are people that haven't done their homework. I like to go there prepared. Mm -hmm. And they, they call me One Take Vinny. I bet. You know, because I do my homework before I get yeah. there. Some of these people, you try to ask them a question before they go in front of the camera. No, 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 no. Those are people. Why, they're too worked up? And yeah, 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 they're too worked up, you know, and uh, they were too busy the night before partying. I'm starting a movie tomorrow. They're not doing their homework. Yeah. Do your homework. Yeah. You know, I, I, I can I would never name the people that haven't done it, but I'll tell you the people that do their homework. And you got like, Joe Pesci, you got De Niro, yeah. Jack Pacino, 
You have um, Paul Savino. Um, and I like, you know, I mean, De Niro and, and um, what's his name? Joe Pesci. Especially Joe Pesci. He is known for improvising. Mm -hmm. And he's good at that. I bet. You know? And there's my boy giving me the finger. You know? <laughs> Figure tells me how much more I got to go. Yeah. One time he did it in the dark, I thought he did this to me. Yeah. You know? And, uh, but uh, Joe Pesci was, uh, who's this? Later. So, um, especially Joe Pesci in the movie Casino, when he tells that guy in the bank, he says, you know, I, I decide I want my money back. And let me tell you something, I'm going to come down tomorrow to the bank and I'll expect you to have my money ready. And if you don't, I'm going to split your effing head open right in front of everybody. And guess what? I'm stupid. And by the time you just come, by the time you come out of your coma, I'll just be coming out of jail. And guess what? I'm fucking stupid. I'll do it again. Uh. You know? <laughs> And that was all improvised. That was all, that, that yeah. was all improvised. Wow. You know, it was a little bit of what Scorsese wanted, yeah. but he added in the rest. And I don't think he could have done a better job with that one. You know, that. and he's good at improvising. Right. Now I'm known for improvising also because I do like in casino, in the grocery store. Yeah. I improvised that whole thing. Did you know? really? Yeah. Oh, that's a great scene. You know? Oh, that. You were in the supermarket? And that was yeah. Good, yeah, in the supermarket. The produce market. Yeah. And I improvised that whole thing. And uh, Scorsese was watching in another room. And he came out with his hands on his head. And I thought he was going to say, Vinny, what the hell are you talking about? Uh. And he came over to me, put his two hands on my, on my side, and said, perfect. That's exactly what I'm looking for. Wow. I said, Marty, can I ask you for a favor? Sure, Vince, what is it? I said, when you like something that I do, please don't approach me with your hands on your head. <laughs> I thought you were just going to send me home. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Anyway, it's coming to the end of such a nice time that I had with you talking with you. Yeah, but I am always. definitely, I am definitely going to come to New Orleans when you're ready. Please. And the show is over and Sean, I love you for, for being here tonight. Yeah, I love you're being the here. Best. Oh, thank you.